Hello everyone, it's Livia aka Storyminded and I'm back with another Grammar for Grown Ups video. This section is all to do with brackets. So once again I'm going to try and do my best to read this through my sort of phone camera thing. Okay, so brackets, an overview. Round brackets for additional information. Round back brackets are used to insert additional information in text. If you were to remove the brackets and the information inside, the text would still work. For example, set in the 17th century, the three musketeers lay... I can't even pronounce that because I don't do French. I never did. We did Spanish at school. Um, Le Troy Musquete... Yeah, I'm not even going to say that. It's a novel by... Alexandre Dumas. Although they are relatively common off Australia, California, South Africa and Mexico, great white sharks usually inhabit coastal waters where the water temperature ranges, tw ranges, ranges 12 to 24 Celsius. They generally hunt by detecting the electrical fields. They can detect less than one billionth of a volt emitted by the movements of their prey. Using lots of brackets looks bad. Using lots of brackets in your writing is usually a sign of bad sentence structure. Brackets also look a little in, a little informal in serious correspondence. Luckily, the latter issue is easily solved. You don't have to use brackets all the time. In fact, you have a choice between round back brackets, commas and dashes. These are all called parentheses. The information between the parentheses is called a parentheses. Board? Sorry. If not, see section 8 for more information on your options for parentheses. It's worth it. You'll become a more skilled writer. Your additional information, your parentheses, parentheses, is often just a few words, but it can be a complete sentence or even a few sentences. If it's any longer than that, you should probably reconsider whether it's appropriate as a parentheses. If your parentheses, sorry, parentheses, oh god, I hate that word, is a complete sentence, you should start it with a capital letter, end in a period of full stop, and then close the brackets. This sentence is an example. However, if your parenthesis is a complete sentence that appears in the middle of another sentence, you have a choice. You can still use a capital letter in a period of full stop within the brackets if you think it makes your writing clearer, or you can use a lowercase letter and no end mark. See the last example with the great white sharks. Do, 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 do. Using a lowercase letter and no end mark is more common in practice nowadays because it lo looks less unwieldy. Round brackets to denote singular or plural. For brevity, round brackets can be used to show that a word could be either singular or plural. So, for example, please write the names of your guests in the section below. So, name of your guest. Ensure the rods is are aligned with the top section. Square brackets are usually used with quotations. Square brackets to make the text clearer. Square brackets can be used to add information that explains the text it follows. The information is usually added by someone other than the original author. Square brackets are commonly seen in quotations. For example, Hedy Lamar once said, most people save all their lives and leave it, their money to somebody else. It, electricity, is really just organised light. So that might be quite handy for like essay writing. Although you want to be careful as they say, it um, can be quite informal. Square brackets to modify the original text. Square brackets also use replaced text to make it clearer for the reader. The information is added by someone other than the original author. For example, Hedy Lamar once said, most people save all their lives and leave their money to somebody else. The writer has replaced it, it with their money. In the similar example above the world, it was left in place. Both versions are okay. Square brackets, sick. The term sick is used to show that the word or words it follows featured in the original tract. Often, sick is used to indicate that a grammar error in the text was committed by the original author. Great tip. Sick is great for responding to snotty letters that contain grammar mistakes. Simple, simply quote their grammar mistake verbatim in your reply and write sick afterwards. After they've looked it up, they'll be wounded. Hilarious, but used with caution. For example, the minister believed that his statement was appropriate and did not undermine the moral sick of our troops. Correct use of sick should be morale, not moral. Your demand for a full compliment sick 
men cannot be met at this time. Correct use six should be compliment, not compliment. Okay, just trying to turn over the page. I'll probably stop this video in a second and split in half. Sorry, the camera's gone funny. Square brackets. Ellipsis is used to show text omitted from a quote. Ellipsis is usually written or... It is usual when an author wants to be succinct. If, the, if there are words in sentence that don't add anything to the main point, they can be removed. It's good practice to replace the missing words with an ellipsis to show the read the, the, that the quotation is not exactly what was said or written. I do this a lot when I write essays. For example, it's, not small, it's no small irony that the government ends up promoting precisely that which they would most like to repress. The ellipsis replaces inevitably and invariably but the author didn't feel the reader needed to know that Andy Warhol was the only genius with an IQ of 60 the ellipsis replaces the words I've ever known brackets replaced by commas or dashes geek says a parenthesis is separated from the rest of the sentence with parentheses parenthesis a parenthesis adds more information to a sentence for example Mel Blanc the voice of Bugs Bunny was allergic to carrots the word, the voice of Bugs Bunny, adds more information. The parenthesis is between, pardon me, is between two commas. Kent Oliver, the only professional jockey from Jersey, won his first race on Tuesday. The words, the only professional jockey from Jersey, add more information. The parenthesis is between two dashes. Kent Oliver won his first race on Tuesday. If you remove a parenthesis, the sentence will still work. For parenthesis, use commas, dashes, or brackets. A parenthesis is separated from the rest of the sentence by commas, dashes, or brackets, all called parentheses. When a parenthesis is completely removed, the sentence is still grammatically correct. Try reading each sentence below with its parenthesis underlined or removed. So, I'll um, stop this one here and give an example of the next ones on the next page, but I'm just going to break it up a bit.